I decided to see if ampleharvest.org as a domain was available, and it was. So I bought it, and I spent $9. Now, I grew up with the thing of you don't waste, don't waste time, don't waste money, don't waste food, and I just spent $9, and I couldn't let that go to waste. It took off really, really fast, and the food bank started helping me to promote it to the food pantries. So on the 150th day after ampleharvest.org had rolled out, the 1,000th food pantry had already registered. It was that quick. The heart of ampleharvest.org is educating, encouraging, and enabling growers to donate food, but the educating is the first piece. You have to reach them, and the 40 million growers in this country and growing. I'm very strident about this. Ampleharvest.org is in the cloud. We don't have any people in the community. What we're doing is acting as a search engine where we're connecting the grower to the food pantry without us getting into the middle. Which goes to an interesting point about Ample Harvest Order is that we don't touch the food. This is really a digital connection between the grower in the community and the need in the community. The point is that these 33,500 food pantries across America, which are in the basement of a house of worship or a YMCA, whatever, are largely unknown to the community. Which means the growers who would like to donate food have no idea that they can. And that's what ampleharvest.org actually solves. And it actually goes to a bigger discussion because not only the growers don't know that the food pantry is there to, re to accept the food, the food pantries across America had no idea the growers in the community are eager to donate the food. The opportunity to solve a problem by not building anything new, but just by connecting the dots is exactly what ampleharvest.org is, is all about. And once a grower knows that there's a food pantry down the street or across town eager for their food, they'll be donating for the rest of their gardening life.